good morning dear students today we shall solve some problems from exercise 2.3 question number 1 you did as homework in last class let us discuss question number 2 what must be added to 84,76,251 to get the sum as greatest number of 7 digits. So, what is the greatest number of 7 digits? The greatest 7 digit number is 9999999. It is 99 lakh 99999 the difference of the greatest number greatest seven digit number and this number is the number required to add so we shall subtract 84,76,251 from 99 lakh 99999 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 5 is 4 9 minus 2 is 7 9 minus 6 is 3 9 minus 7 is 2 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 8 is 1 so this is the number we have to add with this number to get this number greatest seven digit number the next question is question six the population of a town is sixty thousand the number of men is thirty two thousand four hundred and fifty seven and that of women is thirteen thousand two hundred and ninety six Determine the number of children. In a town, uh, the number of men, women and children is uh, 60,000. Number of men is 32,457. You can see. Number of women is uh, 13,296. We have to find the number of children. So what we have to do to uh, find the number of children? We have to add number of men and number of women. Then the result we have to subtract from the total population. So first thing, number of men and number of women we have to find. So 32,457 plus 13,296. I am doing some rough work. 7 plus 6 is 13. 1 will be carried forward to uh, the next place 5 plus 9 is 14 plus 1 15 again carry 1 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 2 plus here there is no carry so it is 0 2 plus 3 is 5 3 plus 1 is 4. So, sum of uh, number of men and women is 45,753. Therefore, number of children, number of children equal to total population total population minus number of men plus number of women so total population is 60,000 number of men and women is 45,753 Again, we shall do some rough work here. 60,000 minus 45,753 
we get seven then this is nine minus five is four again nine minus seven is two nine minus five is four here it is five five minus four is one so your answer is fourteen thousand two hundred and forty seven the next topic is properties of multiplication in one of the classes i have uh, told you about properties of addition properties of addition and properties of multiplication same number one is closer property if a and b are two whole numbers then a into b is also a whole number so if two whole numbers are multiplied then we get a whole number property number two commutative property if a and b are two whole numbers then a into b is equal to b into a that means if we change the position also we have change exchange the position here a is at first place here a is at the second place b is here first place here it is second place so we have interchanged the position if a is 2 if a is 2 b is 3 2 into 3 will give us 6 changing the positions b will be 3 b is 3 and a is 2 3 into 2 is also 6 therefore if we change the position of the whole numbers the result doesn't change this is commutative property it is true for addition also property number 3 associative property if a b and c are three whole numbers then a into b within bracket into c is equal to a into b into c b into c is within bracket it means it doesn't change the result if we group uh, different numbers and do the multiplication using the associative property we shall try to solve this question find the product by suitable rearrangement so here we shall be using the property of associative so here you see we have four uh, numbers we have to multiply actually this is a process of um, uh, what we can say simplify the multiplication so 3 0 9 2 1 into 2 if I make a group into 25 into 40 another group we can see 25 into 40 will give us 1000 so 3 0 9 to 1 into 2 into 1000 doing the rough work here 3 0 9 to 1 into 2 2 into 1 2 2 to the 4 9 into 2 is 18 2 into 0 0 plus 1 2 3 is a 6 so 6 1 8 4 2 into 1000 you know 1000 multiplication by 1000 is very easy just put the three zeros after the number this number six one eight four two zero 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 these three zeros i have added here 
so this is the answer of multiplication multiplication of whole numbers so here we are going to show you some more examples of multiplication by rearrangement if you see 8 and 125 in such problems what you have to do make a group of 8 and 125 so 365 into 8 into 125 because why i am telling you to make the group of 125 and 8 You see, one twenty-five into eight will give you one thousand. Multiplication by one thousand makes it easier. So, three sixty-five into one thousand. Just you add the three zeros after this number. That will be the result of multiplication. so your multiplication is very easy now here also you can see 4 into 2 is 8 again here you can see 125 so what i shall do i shall make group of 4 into 2 into 125 into 1932 193 and as i have told you 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 125 8 into 125 makes it 1000 into 1932 you just add the 3 digits after this number 193230 zeros this is your answer for this if you have 25 and 4 make group of these two numbers if in the given question you have two numbers 25 and 4 you, you should make group of these two numbers so it it will be 5 4 6 2 into 2 is one group and 25 into 4 is another group why i am telling you 25 into 4 you get 100 multiplication by 100 will be easier 5 4 6 2 into 2 5 4 6 2 into 2 2 to the 4 2 6 the 12 2 4 the 8 9 2 1 0 so, 9 2 4 into This hundred two zeros multiplication by hundred is um, very easy. Just add the two zeros after this number one zero nine two four zero zero will be the answer. So rearrangement of the numbers makes the multiplication easier.